Hello everybody and in this video we'll be taking a review of the DB Power DVD player 9 inch model and again this is a 2017 version of the DVD player and I believe they do a 9 inch and I think they do a 12 inch too but this is the again 9 inch version so what I'll do is I'll get a few things set up and I'll be back with you alright and so before we continue I've got a few things to go through first first of all this is a new camera setup so I'm using my tablet after my camera fell off the tripod so I'm using my tablet with the aid of a of a tripod adapter so if the angles are a bit off then unfortunately you're going to have to you know put up with that but hopefully you know you can get what I'm saying with the commentary and all that lot so okay this is the DVD player itself and again you've got a few uh, things going on this is mainly of a plastic design and you've got the DB Power logo on the lid there and again that's quite a you know nice nice thing to have so on the back we've got your USB port and this round thing over here was supposed to be a place for a TV tuner or TV aerial and I believe the TV um, option is available in some countries and not all but again I will explain that later on in the video here on this side you've got your on off switch and your mains and your headphone jack along with various other jacks and also in addition you've got a SD card and your memory stick so the SD card is mainly used for you know playing photos from your camera and the memory stick is mainly used for playing music however you can use both for playing videos as well as long as the devices or cards are in the correct format and the video is up to correct specification but again I will go through that in the video later on the front you've got your sensor for your remote control and again it is a infrared sensor meaning that it is a very specific in the fact that you have to have your remote control in the range of the sensor or nearly in front of the sensor for it to start controlling the DVD player and again I don't know why they just you know couldn't put a you know remote control that didn't really mind where it was at if that makes sense so again that is that and on the left hand side again you've got nothing going on here apart from a few apart from a few screw holes <laughs> but that is that also on the back you've got these vents here and again I haven't really noticed them in use in use when it comes to you know talking about fans and that however the DVD player does get a little bit warm at the bottom but you know nothing you know to the extent where it requires these vents so maybe these vents, these vents are only you know for when you have it in a case in a DVD player case and I may review the case you know in another video so that is that now this DVD player also comes with a swivel screen so you can see where we've got the lid and the controls are in front of myself but if I got it like that and also if I turn it on then you should be able to see you know something on this screen So I'm going to show you the controls first before I show you my groovy trick. So the controls consist of you know these buttons at the bottom here along with a few buttons at top and you've also got your 
you've also got your play button here along with your arrow keys and you've also got your volume buttons here and you've got a screen button in case the picture doesn't appear full screen like I had once when I first used this the picture didn't appear full screen so what I had to do is I had to press that two times and actually if I turn it on you might be able to see the effect that that button has in fact let me load DVD right so press the button screen goes off press the button again screen goes on and that should hopefully in some situations be full screen for the picture so on to the well actually before I move on to the groovy trick I was going to show you I'm just going to demonstrate the sound of this and the sound is actually pretty good however I will move on to that later on in the video because this DVD player twists and you know what have you you can get it in a number of positions and I think the primary reason for it twisting is you know so you can show people at different angles so it can twist oh yeah that way like I showed you earlier but it can also twist to the left but on the left it has a locking position where it can't twist no more so you can't twist it you know round and round like you know you would you would like to so that is that but also the twist action means that you can do this So yeah, I mean that's quite a neat little trick and you can have it on your lap and you can watch the DVD player at a flat angle and also yeah sorry and also thinking about it if you like watching your DVDs at a flat angle at least you don't have to have the screen like this which can be very annoying and also This angle means that you can have the screen closer to you if you like to watch it at a flat angle. The downside to that is you obviously can't gain access to the volume button and if the volume is a little bit you know up and down or abrupt then you're obviously going to need to open that repeatedly just to turn the volume up although you can use the remote control button that can pose its obstacles so in terms of downsides of the DVD player then you know what are they first of all I'm going to start with the twist action because there doesn't really seem to be any locking positions so when you go to place when you go to close the DVD player you're not too sure whether the lid is going to be even enough and you can probably see it's slightly uneven here so you just have to you know twist and you know turn and you know tweak to make sure that you know the lid sits nicely when in the closed position and again it would be nice if when you're twisting you could feel some you know locking points so you know where things stand also another thing I'm going to add is the rubber feet or the feet so here you can see that this foot where my finger is is rubber but the others are plastic and this is actually a cheap DVD player but still you know I think you know 
there should be rubber feet all around instead of these plastic thing and also it means that it can slip off the table so again that's that's one downside there another downside is the TV tuner and again you know it looks like one of these fake plugs and I don't like fake plugs much you know I think they really should be available or not so so that is that uh, the plastic design could be a bit of a disadvantage to some however I found that the plastic design is quite solid but again it's a shame that they have you know these these problems also I'm gonna talk about the sound on this DVD player and what I've found is that when I've been playing things on a memory stick videos in particular the sound actually seems you know quite louder than the DVDs itself so I'm not too sure whether that's a DVD thing or a DVD player thing but it could be to do with both so again it would be nice if you know you had the sound louder on the DVD player like you would get on a memory stick in terms of video specifications and you playing video on a memory stick or SD card you know they're, they're pretty they're pretty strict and the and the video has to be you know under 480 no under under 720p despite the DVD you know being able to play 720p DVDs in which in my opinion is a bit silly really because if it plays 720p DVDs you would expect it to play 720p video and not only that cameras these days which include my Fujifilm Bridge camera are 720p so again I'm not too sure you know why it couldn't play 720p videos but in addition the bit rates have to be quite low and the frame rate have to be low as well and it can only accept SD cards and memory sticks up to 32 gigabytes and again in the memory sticks these days are heading up to the 64 gigabyte mark and even SD cards although you can get you know SD cards which are one terabyte but obviously you know you wouldn't want to be trying a one terabyte SD card in the DVD player and I have tried a 64 gig SD card which seems you know fairly sensible enough but you know plenty of storage and I haven't really managed to get my DVDs or videos to play on the SD card which is a shame because you know if you want to record TV programs then it would be nice to get them to play on the DVD player and although although you can use a media converter to you know convert the videos into you know the DVD player specification it is a bit of a faff so but again it does depend whether you want to do it or not and the reason why I wanted to do it or was willing to do it was because I wanted to break from my laptop all the time so I was you know willing to you know go through all that just to you know have a break okay well I hope you've enjoyed the review of the DB Power DVD player 9 inch again thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos to come and I will Stop see you soon